It's Food Truck Friday. Woohoo! I'm heading out there in a minute, hopefully, Autria. What are you digging into? Eileen, come on out. We have got some of your favorite burritos. I have got Louie and Daniel here with me right now, and they are the two men behind Rito Loco, which everyone loves a good burrito, and this is Meals on Wheels burrito style. So I want to thank you guys for coming and being a part of our Food Truck Friday. Tell me how you kind of got into this business of food trucks. Uh, Danny and I both were working in corporate America and uh, had a love for food and traveling. And we both took extended vacations from corporate America and decided we never wanted to put a suit and tie back on again. So I kind of went Jerry Maguire one day in a sales <laughs> meeting and got myself fired. And I brought Danny with me and we put it on the road. You are every corporate man's dream. Every man has had that daydream of just saying to heck with it and walking out. That's what we did. And, uh, and that was what, three years ago? Uh, August, uh, August 2011, and then we got on the road a year later. So. And so you've had this truck for uh, just about three years now. Correct. How's it been going? It's uh, amazing. Uh, we're all over the place. We've been able to reach Baltimore, Miami, Herndon, uh, down to Richmond. So we've been all over the place, and we're getting ready to open a storefront in Shaw next week. And that is so exciting. Daniel, I want to bring you in here a little bit. Now, did you have this love of food growing up? Where did it come from? Yeah, and and I, why Ritos? Well, we were originally going to do tacos. Um, and then we decided that with the kind of demographic of people that we're going to be serving, a lot of people on the go, the way we build our burritos is not have rice and beans. We grill them. They're closed. They're clean. A lot less messy. Um, so we went with burritos instead of tacos. When we get to the store, we are going to feature the tacos. Um, but my love of food really came from my abuela, my grandmother. Oh. Uh, both her and my grandfather are born and raised Cuban. And they came over here in about 59. And I learned a lot of that old school style cooking from them. You know, she was feeding me for a long time. I was going to say, so this is authentic. Yeah. Now, you guys have some of your uh, specialties here. Tell me what we're looking at. Uh, right now we got uh, we got a nice short and sweet menu. Uh, we start on the left with our mojito chicken. It's a nice light citrus blend, a little bit uh, Cuban flavored. Um, moving to ground the right. beef burritos. On the right we have a baby back pork rib. Oh. We use a 15 spice dry rub. Let the ribs sit for 48 hours and then we braise them for six in a blend of citrus juices. Pull the bones, break the meat down, and rebase the pulled meat. Very savory, got a lot of depth. Then we have a spicy taco seasoned ground beef. And then here, what you're looking at the final is a uh, fish taco. It's a nice 10 spice, real lightly uh, uh, kind of southern Caribbean spice with a chimichurri sauce on it. We're thinking about featuring it on the truck. It'll definitely be in the store, but it's got a lot of demand. So we'll let you guys have at it, and you let us know what you think of it. All right, you guys, come on in. Do some taste testing here. We're going to take one final break, and when we return, we'll let you know how you can get Rito Loco on your street. Don't go anywhere.